where most people think about psychopaths, uh, people like Hannibal Lecter or the Yorkshire Ripper usually spring to mind. But actually, when psychologists like myself talk about psychopaths, we're actually referring to a distinct subspecies of individual with a distinct subset of personality characteristics, such as ruthlessness, fearlessness, coolness under pressure, charm, charisma, um, and of course those signature deficits in conscience and empathy. Now, if you think about those characteristics that I've just outlined there as being uh, the dials on a studio mixing desk, which you can twiddle up and down in various combinations, you arrive at a number of conclusions. The first one is that being a psychopath isn't an all or nothing affair. It's not black or white, but a little bit like height or weight or intelligence, psychopathy is on a spectrum along which each of us have our place. The second conclusion that you can draw is that actually there's no one definitive correct setting uh, on this mixing desk dial that the controls can be dialed up at, but rather it depends on the particular set of circumstances, the particular context in which you find yourself in. And the third uh, conclusion you can draw is that there are going to be some professions out there which by their very nature are going to demand that some of these mixing desk dials are going to be turned up a little bit higher than average than you might find in everyday life. Demand what I call precision engineered psychopathy.